We're serious. We're very serious. You want a kid? Do you? Do you really? Mm. Mm, okay. Yeah, you have to have like hot and cold mixed together, you know, just like how I like my shower lukewarm. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> Matt. You gonna go make me a sandwich? Anyways. Uh, <laughs> oh, that thing must be itchy. <laughs> Shut up. This is a sheet of mommy song and i'm singing this song because i don't want to get copyrighted this is a sheet of mommy song follow me on instagram ba -da -ba -ba -boo -doo -doo. follow me subscribe hey guys it's your girl sheeta and that one and only and we are back again with another video this video was highly requested it's a q a video just to update about our lives a lot of questions that were asked we are going to answer all of them and some of them are a little bit spicy so let's get right into this video first question how are you excited about your pregnancy and how's mason i don't this know this is for the both of us oh sorry uh yeah, yeah. were you answering i was about to oh, <laughs> i thought you were like trying to push it to me like no <laughs> so as far as pregnancy goes i You know, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about me being pregnant? You period? being pregnant, I mean, the attitude, the, all of this, the different. It see. is ridiculous. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> Sorry. Um, because you know, there's one day where she's like, "Okay, cool, I'm up. We're we got some energy," and then the next day she's just in bed. Although Mason has to go to school. I it's mean, true. it could be worse, but you know, it's it's way better than it, what it was at first. Yeah. Um, because I mean, she's throwing up every s single second in the first trimester, which was like, bro. Yeah. Like she couldn't eat certain foods. Couldn't. She couldn't hold the food down. It was just How does that make water. you feel? Every time I, I'm in my sleep, all I hear is, oh, oh. <laughs> So I look out of my eye, like, damn, take it to the bathroom. Uh, no, I need to sleep. Take it to the bathroom. <laughs> I had my bucket on the side of the bed, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, I just had a flashback. And then that day, we forget, that girl, she ate Olive Garden. Oh, yeah. She threw all the stuff out of the Olive Garden plate in the car and then used the bag and just threw up in it. But you, no, you should have been grateful I did that because I would have threw up in his car. He would have been so Oh yeah, mad. of course. You would have cleaned it. What? He's talking You right would have cleaned he, it. I would have. He would have cleaned it. You would have he cleaned it. He knows that he would have done that. No, I would give them back their car because that's not my car. <laughs> yeah. That's you. Matthew. That's not my car. Anyways, so that is how he felt. How I've been feeling. I've been feeling a lot better, as he said. It has gotten better. How I felt before. I hated this pregnancy. I didn't want to be pregnant anymore. Like, I literally hated it. It was so hard for me to find the yeah. beauty in, in all of this. It was so hard. If y'all hear, he's literally right there. But it was so, so, so hard. But now I'm starting to find the beauty, even when she's kicking me in my bladder. <laughs> I'm still finding the beauty because, you know, I'm building, I'm creating a whole child, y'all. Like, I could see her. Like, she is, <laughs> I don't know who's, I think she has her dad's lip, but she is, like, so cute. She's like, like but anyway, <laughs> yeah. What was the other question? And how's Mason? Oh, Mason's good. He's, Mason. He's right there. Hey. How hey, look are, at the camera. How, how, are how are you? How are you? And what do you say? I am? I am? I am fine. I am fire. Fire. He's fire. Okay. That's what he is. That's how he is. He's fire. Next question. Next question. When did you get to know Mason had autism? Is there a chance that he can speak like a... I guess she's trying to say like a normal person. Yeah. We found out, we kind of like had ideas that he was a bit delayed 
not so much that he had autism like we, we had an idea that he was delayed but we didn't know that he had autism um and when he was diagnosed with it was no it was may march april may he had gotten like people saw symptoms which was his pediatric the pediatrician people they saw symptoms and then he got diagnosed between the months of march and may of last year which was 2023 so that's when we found out mason talks when he wants to like literally he talks when he wants to. i'm gonna see if i can put a little clip of him telling me to be quiet Breathe. Stop it. No. It's a miracle. We can breathe. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> Be quiet. Sing with me. <laughs> breathe. It's a miracle. Stop it. We can breathe. Just stop. This power. Mm. Like, I'm singing to him and he's literally like, be quiet, mommy. You know, like a regular little toddler telling you, be quiet. Like, literally. You think he talks like a, re a normal kid? He at talks times? and he feels like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't force a kid to talk if they're not going to talk. And he has him as his dad. <laughs> like, I'm Matthew, you talking. cannot force Matthew to talk. Unless you're me. He gets under his skin. Then yes. Yes, he can. But anybody else, he would literally, people used to think that Matthew was mute at church. Like, they literally thought he was mute. Like, this dude will not talk. He just doesn't talk. He's very respectful, but he just will not talk to you. And that's the same with Mason. If he's not interested in talking to you, he's not going to talk to you. And I have had... <sighs> countless of times where i'm like i'm not gonna force him anymore but it's like the mother in me is like you need to talk to these people so they don't think that you're you do not talk you not talk but i'm like mm -mm, i'm not doing that anymore if he doesn't want to talk then he just doesn't right yeah <laughs> okay is yeah is there any financial needs please let me know i need it thank you i like financial advice is that what she's saying is that what she's saying? Is there any means? Where is it? I think this is what she's saying. Continue. Oh, is there any means to help people in another country like Nigeria financially? And then she said, if there's any means, please let me know. I need it. Thank you. Heck yeah. I'm, first of all, I want to visit Africa. Y'all already know that. I want to visit Africa, all the parts of Africa, and meet you guys, and hug you guys, and say hi, and like go crazy, and do all of the national, traditional things that you guys do. Eat the food. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, I want to do all of that. You Come share this a way. car with your husband? No. That would be awful. <laughs> oh. That would be so awful. We do not share. Step over the card. Look on the floor. Hey. Okay, it's okay. Keep going. No, no, no. Go in the room. Yeah, that would be completely awful. Like, just us driving to one destination together. Like, it's just... Because he'd be ready to leave, and I don't want to leave, and then I'd be ready to leave, and he don't want to leave. Most of the time, it's, it's he'd be ready to leave, and I don't want to leave. And I'm just like, you just go. So we usually take separate cars to certain places just because of that. And also, my car be a mess most of the time. Mm. So, and he does not like that. So if I was to drive his car, it would cause a lot of problems. Cause I'm, I'm the one that has Mason majority of the time. And it's usually the back seat that's dirty. Cause Mason be back there. But then again, I can't blame it all on Mason because sometimes I literally just throw my stuff in like the passenger seat. <laughs> it's just like, I know I'm not the only one. I'm being honest with you guys. I'm not the only female that does that. That's why they have a lot of memes and stuff because I know I'm not the only one. But I'm changing this year. I'm going to be better. Did you see how I've been keeping my car clean since it's been cleaned? 
Have you seen that? Yeah, because uh, I didn't do it. Next but yeah, question. I see. Okay, what's the next I, question? I for sure see that your car is clean. Good job. How did you know that he is the one? How that so that's a that's towards me. Okay. How did I know that Matthew's the one? Because he must be the one for me to give him so many tips. All right. He just it's just I'm lying. So there was one time when somebody came to the church. I don't think you remember her, Deborah. She's like this white lady, open, uh, not open fire at Rima in Florida. Deborah. Yeah, and it's like these white couples that used to always come and preach. And this wall, tall. He's a tall white guy. Oh, yeah, yes. And his wife. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, one yes, time yes. she came and she was talking about how they met and she said there might be somebody. And at the time we were like, what? We were like, I would say we were like 10, 10, 8. So forgive me if I'm not saying the story completely right. Because it was a long time ago. It's like 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. And yes, yes, yes. And they met when he's searching up the, the, the person. You're going to put it, screenshot so that, you know, you can put it there. And she said in the message that there might be someone here that has already found their partner, like their husband, because they were together since 14 or 13 or 10 or whatever, and they knew that they were gonna be together forever. And when she said that, like at the time, I don't even think that me and Matthew were together because we were on and off boyfriend and girlfriend, y'all. We were on and off boyfriend and girlfriend, and I was with my new boo, and he was with his new boo, and we was just, you know? But I looked over and I literally saw, like, okay, He's the one. And that's how I knew from since then. And he's the only boy, you know, before he became a young man, he was the only boy that I gave so many chances to. Like, any boy, you lie to me, bye. You don't give me money, bye. You don't give me food, bye. You don't do this for me, bye. Why are we talking? Blocked. Delete. See you later. On to the next. But I kept coming back to him for some reason. And now we're married. It's like I got that rig. Uh, don't start. Yeah, don't sure. start. Yes, yeah, sir. What's the next question? Yes, sir. Rich, rich, rich. What is the biggest fight you and your husband ever had? And how did you settle it? <laughs> What's the biggest fight? I can't even think of my biggest fight. Oh, wait. No, I can't think of a biggest fight. Maybe last year. Mm -hmm. Last year was probably our biggest, biggest fight. That almost like resulted us being separated forever. Um, what it was, it was a completion, completion, combination of many things. I gotta stop trying to use big words. <laughs> yeah, you it's just a combination. I know I sound like so ridiculous, <laughs> but. It was a combination of many things. I don't really, you know, that's not a, this, this, maybe we'll do a story time on what happened once we are, I don't know. I feel like we're kind of fully healed from it somewhat. Are we? Are you? I am. Yeah, I'm saying. Are you? I should, yeah. I One of these days when we fully pass it completely, where we're able to be like, yeah, oh my gosh, and laugh at that. Well, he be laughing at it. So I feel like he's like, because he be laughing. It could happen two minutes ago, which was what happened earlier. He la He's laughing at it. But anyways, yeah. How did we settle it? We had... <coughs> we had stop that. We had counseling. We had counseling sessions. We had... Um, he was praying... Um, because at the time girl I was I was rebellious so he was praying a lot and um then I had we had support we had a lot of support we still do we're so thankful for that but we had immense support and they were able to find the problem kill the problem and bring us back together and then we slowly 
got back right where we left off. That's why it's good to be friends with um, who you marry, you know, because we share a friendship. It's, 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 it's why are you tough me? because you're not looking at I am. Me. I am. Because it's no. like, stop. <laughs> Let me stop. We share. We share a friendship. Like, we're friends, for real. He's really my best friend. I be telling him everything. He be telling me everything. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and I think that's, like, a solid thing to have in a marriage. Being each other's best friend. Who's that? It's not the You think that's her friend? So, <laughs> yeah. He, he's a goofball sometimes, and I'm, I'm worse. So I can imagine our kids. Oh my gosh. But next question. Oh, we gotta keep moving. Yeah. How can you fix a broken relationship? I think we're experts on that. Mm. <laughs> we are. Our relationship has been broken many times. And people have seen this. Even because I left, you know, the video of us going through that path of brokenness. So how do you, yeah, you say it. How do you fix it? Time. <laughs> That's true. Time. Time. Time and God. If it's destined to be, it's destined to be. Time and patience. Time and patience. Mm. Oh, that thing must be itchy. <laughs> so, when is our due? When is our due date? Um, I don't know if I should be saying that online. <laughs> I don't. What do you think? Like, I don't know if I should be saying when is my baby due date. I mean, you can say it. I'll just like. Boo! Like that. Just like, stupid. <laughs> what do I'm joking. My due date is. Someone says, do you love me? Do I love Matthew? No. Oh, do I love them? Mm -hmm. You know what that is? Missy? Oh, I forgot you ain't got glasses. I don't, I don't know who that is. But if you are a supporter and a follower, I love all my supporters and my follow. Follow. Uh, follow, follow. <laughs> 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 That was not meant to be funny. Uh, I love all of my supporters, all of my followers. I love them. I love you guys. Like you guys literally support me when I'm gone for like a whole year and y'all literally still support me. So I love you guys. How are you guys managing school so far? <sighs> so school, it's been like at least a week now or, or a week and a half, right? since I've been in school. When is the 16th? Last week? It's been two weeks since I've been in school. I started school. Matthew doesn't start school until um, summer due to his work schedule. You know, we don't want to cause overwhelmness. We want him to, maybe you can explain that better about you. But, um, you know, so it doesn't seem like I'm talking about you. You always talk about me. I there isn't one day do. you don't talk about me. I talk about them all the time. But so yeah, I don't want it to mess up my schedule as mm -hmm. far as working and stuff because I'm going to be working a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm trying to find like a, a balance yeah. to where I'm able to be able to work and not let my work um, over I know override, that consume. override uh, yeah. my school time. So whenever I'm at work, I'm at work, and when I'm at school, I'm at school, not focusing about work. So yeah, that's it's all time. Yeah, same. Even um, being pregnant and going to school, like, what did you say? Time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, time. Like, I literally have to create like a schedule now. I have to literally, like, at first I thought I could freestyle it and just go with the flow. It was not, it's not working. So I really have to like get a schedule, work with the schedule, stay on the schedule, do not get off the schedule and flow like that. I can't just 
diddle daddle oh i have school okay i'm gonna do this okay i'm gonna do this. i can't because i get exhausted i'm not able to do like my actual wifely duties and i'm not able to even sometimes be a mom or just me like take care of myself because i'm just so consumed with school i need to pass i need to pass my test i need to do this i need to study you know so finding the balance as he said even though i'm not working have you guys heard um as you guys have heard him say like i'm not working he's literally the sole provider of our entire family like i am not working so my job is literally home school mason and church why is that fiesta huh what are you doing you want to say something no <laughs> That's yes, it. yes, yes. That's all I'm saying. How have you been feeling lately? You'll have two kids now. How is that feeling? Because I love it. Oh. Oh, girl. I know who that is. But um, you know who that is. Of course I do. Yeah. Um, Two kids. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't want two kids. I didn't even want one. I have the one. Now I'm gonna have two. Boy and a girl. And she's gonna steal her dad from me. And I'm just gonna be here. He's gonna love my <laughs> Like, why you sound so like. It's like she's gonna kidnap me. She's gonna take him away from me. He already, like, doesn't even care about me. And he just cares about his little girl. Like, I was here first. I matter. I matter. Me. Look at me. Me. But yeah, how does it feel? I don't know. Sometimes it's exciting. Sometimes it's like, how am I gonna manage if I can barely manage one in myself and my husband? Then it's like, I think she's gonna have more clothes than I do. And then it's like, laundry, folding clothes. Is that gonna be a nightmare now? You know, like it's, it's different worries, different things that popped up in my mind. Like there's a moment when I'm excited and it's like I can't let myself live in that excitement because it's not gonna always be exciting. But our pregnancy so far has been like a second chance, you know, a second chance for a lot of things that we never really got to experience in our first pregnancy, right? Mm -hmm. Like we're together, we're married, we're all under one roof. He comes home to me at the night. He cuddles with me sometimes if he's not like super tired you know when you're tired you don't want to be touched and bothered by nobody but you know he's there like present what why are you smiling i can't smile like that yeah but why stop that whisper my face to me why why are you smiling <laughs> no why? you're gonna get mad you're gonna get mad because well it's true I'm pausing right now. All right. Next question. Is it advisable to date a guy at 16? No. I'm joking. Focus on your schoolwork. <laughs> you should definitely focus on your schoolwork, but it's like kind of hard in this generation at this time to just be like, you can't do that. Mind your business. Wait. Definitely wait before you do the do. We're serious. We're very serious. You want a kid? Do you? Do you really? Mm. Mm, okay. But anyways, yeah, I'm not going to force you. <laughs> I'm not going to force you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's, it's how we were literally in sync on that part. But, yeah, like, do you really want a kid? Okay. But, yeah, um, focus on school. Focus on yourself. Oh, my gosh. Be a teenager. Like, I'm not saying go wild and live and whatever, but enjoy your freedom. Because when you're with somebody, like, it's kind of, it's you're kind of sharing yourself with them. You're sharing your time, your energy, like, oh my gosh, and then the arguments, and then, you know, you be... Can, you can save yourself. Yeah, so save yourself. Time. You know, you can still be with your friends. Yeah, whatever, whatever you, you know. want without somebody nagging you, like me, to get off. You need to talk to me. Hello. You know? Especially a guy, if you're playing your video game, you don't want a girl to be bothering you. No, you don't. Because I did. 
I used to get mad. Why you only get me? You're not talking to me. And so, <laughs> yeah, I used to get so mad. You gotta go make me a sandwich. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> What's it like being married versus being boyfriend, boyfriend and girlfriend? Boyfriend and girlfriend. Boyfriend and girlfriend. <sighs> you can't escape. I mean, you can, but it's just more. Like, boyfriend and girlfriend, you could just break up. I'm done with you. Bye. Like, married is... Oh, my butt is starting to hurt. What major are you studying in college? Wait. I'm trying to ask this question. Okay, I'm writing. What are your major studying? What are you, what major are you studying? In? What major are you studying <laughs> for in college? Shut up. Okay, because <laughs> you said it good the first time. What happened? But the major that I'm studying is, I'm sorry. I want three degrees, guys. I want my psychology degree and my business degree and also a degree in science, really. I think I'm gonna change it. I, think I have put nursing, but if I got a degree in science, like I could easily just, I don't think I wanna go into the nursing program. I don't really wanna be a nurse, to be honest. Like, I really don't, I really don't. Being a nurse, you have to work with like a lot of people. I mean, I'm gonna work with people, but it's just like, uh. and it's never your patients, it's always your coworkers. Always your coworkers. Did you pray for another child? Mm -mm. Was this a surprise? Mm -hmm. Something you wanted. Mm -mm. <laughs> what? This was definitely not prayed for. It was definitely, you know, actually, it wasn't even like a surprise. Because it wasn't even like we were trying to like protect ourselves from it. It Pro was. Protect? Yeah, protect. Protect. Yeah, protect. 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 Okay, stop trying to be my English teacher, bro. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Any advice to team parents? Wait, you didn't even answer. It wasn't a surprise. What was it? Was it planned? It was. It was just <laughs> it was there. <laughs> it was just there. <laughs> Any advice to team parents? Team parents, I would say, tough it out. It's hard. I know. I know it's hard. I I know it's hard. It's really, really, really hard. Tough it out. Try to work through it if you can as a family. Of course, if you really, really cannot and you guys are really, really like incompatible, like I mean this guy is like really bad. This girl is like cuckoo for crazy. I mean I'm cuckoo for crazy. He's still here, so I don't know. But you know, mm. Somebody, it gotta be leveled, you know, it gotta be leveled. Um, we, you gotta compliment each other. I'm sick in the head and he is usually nonchalant and chill. Right, am I like? Of course. And cocky. <laughs> true. <laughs> it's so true. Cause he knows that about himself, but it's also like, it. we compliment each other, you know? Like in certain. Y'all both can't be hot and loud. Yeah, you have to have like hot and cold mixed together, you know, just like how I like my shower and lukewarm. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. What is this? I'm sorry. I thought this was a killing <laughs> It is. I'm answering you, the you question. You're telling people your shower preferences. But I'm just saying it flowed with what I said, though. Stop. It flowed. Y'all, it flowed. It did. But yeah, basically, that's what it is. You know, try to tough it out. And being a teen parent, there are so many stereotypes, y'all. I literally go through it every day at college when I tell people that I'm a, um, a parent. And, well, we're no longer teens now, but that I'm a parent and that I'm married, you know, at this young age. It's like, oh, you must have got pregnant. I mean, I did, but that's not the reason why I got married you know i didn't get married solely because of my child my child was one of the reasons but it wasn't just based off of oh i had a kid so i gotta marry him i gotta stay with him there are many different reasons and people keep asking me why 
there's just a lot of reasons and I'd have to sit down and write a book about it. What about you? What would you give them? What's your advice, Mr. Professor? I'm not no professor. I don't want to be no professor. <laughs> You'd do good though. Professor. But you would do good. But anyways, go ahead, tell me. What's your what's your what's your advice? My advice. Next time, wear a condom. Well, that's true. But they're now they're already in the situation. Like Okay. Uh for maybe for the people that are not teen parents and they're watching this, use protection. Especially if you don't want to be in that circumstance. Use protection or you know what is the best way? Abstinence. Don't do it. Or even put yourself on birth control. Yeah. Wish I was on that. But you are so lucky that the camera did not caught that. Of so and as long as you know that you know that you're a good mom and that you are trying your hardest and you're doing your best, everybody else's words are like nothing but. And it took me a while to learn that, because um, I used to always feel so insecure about being a mom because I was so young. I'm like I don't know nothing. But then I learned that even people that's 30 years old that just became a mom, they also don't know anything. You know, so being a mom is not different with numbers, you know, with age. That's what I mean by numbers. It's not, it's not, it's not much different. You're, you guys are still in the same boat of not knowing anything. So one might be more financially capable than the other. And it's just might because in this new day and age, 17 year olds are way more financially stable than a 30 year old. Okay. So, it's just, yeah, and learning that, not, not being so filled with mom guilt. It took me a while to learn that. Um, I've, I've learned so many different ways of coping being a mom and then coping and making sure that I'm not just a mom, that I'm also Rashida, that I'm me, you know? Like, I'm not just always Mason, 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 Mason. And even now being a wife, I'm not just Matthew, 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 but I'm also Rashida, right in that time. I'm still finding it a little bit difficult to do that now, especially with everything, but finding that time for just me, even if it's doing my hair or doing, you know, something. Just my time, me time. Yeah, I think I summed it up. Now my hair is itching. But it's not because it's dirt, it's because it's tight. And it takes ponytail out. Come on, what's the next question? I think that's it. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Well, that was the last page. Matthew, there's like three questions on here. I know you can't see. How old are you and Matthew? How old are we, Matthew? Sit up. Yes, buff that chest. <laughs> How old are we? We're the same age. He's just older by like, what is it? Four months. Four months. Three months. Um, someone said, can I post more on Instagram? I will try. There are no guarantees. I actually want to do some challenges, me and Matthew, and do some reels. Go back to what we used to do when we were bored that's literally what happened we were so bored at home and <laughs> remember mm -hmm. the backpack challenge yeah um how are y'all doing i'm not gonna do the backpack you challenge you can't fold like no pretzel <gasps> not anymore but once this baby's out maybe i can fold <laughs> how are y'all doing and how is everyone going good <laughs> like waiting like just good we are good we are well <clears throat> both mentally and physically of course being texas cold and hot you know you're getting... what the heck was that oh you heard that <laughs> stop oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> 
Um, how is Mason taking it? What about that question? He don't care. <laughs> Matthew! <laughs> He's a you guys want me to be honest, he, he don't care. Forgive me. I was a uh, mime today. He don't care. He's off in the room right now. He don't care. He He's playing on the salary. He, he is care. so like out of it. The bro don't care. I think when the baby comes, that's going to be when it's different. And when he realized that the baby is staying. And that, and that we're giving the baby more attention than giving it to him. I just feel like as though once we give Mason what he wants, as we just did, he's like gone. He's in his own world. He's just over there. Bye. Stop talking to me now. Just like I told y'all, he literally be telling me to shut up when he's on his stuff. Even on the phone. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I just spoke to my grandpa. Hi, great grandpa. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> like I'm done talking to you. Yeah, bro, you didn't say a word. That's what he did when he went over to sleep with my mom. <laughs> He literally, I was asking him all these questions. And he's like, okay, bye now, mommy. Bye, bye-bye. And he ended the call. Like, he is literally done. Like, when he's done, he's done. He just wants you to give him that little bit of time. And once you give him that little bit of time, he is it's sufficient for him. He's good. So I think he'll take it. I think he's taking it pretty, pretty good, better than most people. He does know that there's a baby in there, though. Yeah, he is aware. He loves the belly. I mean, he loves anybody's belly if it's big. Even Chucky. <laughs> Even Chucky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. He was trying to get Chucky's belly. <laughs> Bro, that man was like, he was, Chucky was trying to be so nice, but she was <laughs> Do you have that video? Oh my God. I'm going to show it to you guys. Okay, wait. Do you have. Um, plan names for your daughter we do we are still trying to figure out how we want it to be like how we want it to flow and everything but we definitely do have a name plan for her and it's, of course you guys won't find out until after she's born um, for privacy reasons and protection because you know some people are evil um, and how old is Mason now this is the last question never ask this question <laughs> Have you never you asked this question gum, either? Huh? You ain't getting no gum. Hey, hey. Babe, you never asked this come here. one. Come here, come here, come here. Okay, look, turn around, turn around look, look at the camera. Ready? And now what are you gonna say? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? That's Lisa. No, how old are you? Lisa. And you are? Lisa and Matthew. Okay, no, how old are you? <laughs> It's mommy and daddy. How old are you? I'm five. Good job. Now get out of here. <coughs> five years old. He's five. Five years old. He is five. <sighs> We're trying to get him into speech therapy. I think sometimes he just does not understand what we're asking. When he said, I love watching you because you're a Christian and you always talk about Jesus Christ. Yes, y'all. We are both Christians. We both believe that Jesus is our Lord and Savior. It has been confirmed today. And we're both serving church. Literally. He's a mimer. I'm a dancer. He's in media. I'm in children's ministry. And he's now starting to be in children's ministry. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We're super involved in church, no. so, yeah, yes. But I think I'm done. I think I, I've reached my capacity today, though. I'm done answering any more questions. 38 goddamn minutes. Yeah, there's a lot of editing to do. But anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting us, even asking us these questions. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. If you guys are interested in us changing the channel to the Sterling family, since we really are the Sterling, since we really are the Sterling family, this is a family channel. Let us know. Let us know down in the comments. You know, give us a, you know, give us your opinion on all of that. We love you guys. 
if you guys made it to the end of this video oh, yeah. hey. comment down below hey. this word fried chicken oh, yeah. and you will get a shout out see you guys next video bye bye y'all oh belly bump update Boop. <laughs> bye she just farted on me i did not <laughs> disgusting i did not fart did you guys have fun watching us? I hope you did. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope we made you laugh at least. Um, this is my dad. Say hi, dad. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. Without further ado, I'm out.